Welcome to Girls Talk this week. I'm here with Mercy Love. Hey, girl. Girl, we didn't see each other this whole week. We didn't. We did it. That's true. I didn't talk to you either. I know. We didn't talk much. You was on your. That's fine. Busy you level. You see enough of me. I know. This Why you say it like that? <laughs> no, because I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying we have so much going on. So much Our coming life up. Just keeps getting busier and busier. I mess with and you. We're loving it. I'm gonna have my whole summer booked. And you right. It's, My whole summer is booked. We're going to be doing a lot this summer. And we're very energized this morning. Why? Because we're going to be talking about health. I don't know about you being energized uh, <laughs> because I'm not. I'm really not. Wake up, Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. She'll be up and ready and pumped to go. We have a lot going on today for you guys. It's, it's no, a no, 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 no. Show. Don't don't lie to these folks. <laughs> Here's the deal. My trick plan for today. What's your plan? We're going to work out on stage. Yes. So my plan is try to look as <laughs> as I can. So that way we can walk out of here real fast. They're probably going to think I'm sleeping the whole time. Be like, oh, Mercy's tired. Okay, let's leave. No. So we're going to talk about getting fit. It's almost about to be summer. We have like, what, a month before summer? Girl, if I thought we was in already Minnesota, in Minnesota. It feels like fall, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll deal. And we'll promise we won't be wearing any more black soon because it'll be summer and we'll feel hot and it'll be some bright colors going Again, on. speak for yourself. I'm still going to be wearing black just to cover these extras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why we brought a personal trainer on the show today to, get, to help Mercy get in better shape. You know? Really? <laughs> hey, you said it. I didn't. All right, yeah, we're going to get me in better shape. We're going to get me healthy and fit. We're going to lose that tummy, get bikini body ready. That after baby work. You know, lift that butt because it does fall a little bit after you have that baby, but that's okay. Gravity takes place. Yeah, gravity takes control. And all the other levels. Like, you know the show my daughter watched, Lot of Lucy? Sometimes I feel our body goes Lot of Lucy. <laughs> you did not. Anyway, honestly, you know, we, we have kids. We gotta work at getting it back. You, know? you just, you just I'm gotta in the be gym two days a week, sometimes three. I try to do it. Yeah. I try. I really try, but my lifestyle is not taking it. This is not all genetics. I'm gonna be honest. I work hard at maintaining my body, and I love it. I like doing it. I live to go to the gym. I look forward to every Monday and Wednesday. And, you know, the personal trainer that we have here today She's is my personal trainer. Went. So, you know, I can give her a kudos for this as well. Um, so I like it. We have to do that for ourselves. It's for our health as well. You know, that um, is true. You reach 30 and you have to do a lot more than just eat some Jolly Ranchers and drink pop. What are you trying you to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a junkie for sweets. No, you see, you got to get rid of the junk food. Your body, when it gets to a certain age, you got to get rid of the junk food. Drinking the black coffee. Anyways, we're not going to go back on my personal level here. But one thing I was going to mention is the fact that both of you and I are moms. Yes, we are both And moms. to have this on have here daughters. is huge. We both have um, four-year-old um, oh, four daughters. Four, yes. And the fact that after basically a lot of women kind of give up after they have their kids Don't give up. they give up on their body they give on their, um give up on their health so this is good for us you know to stand what? on this i still take my prenatals you still take them i still take you just prenatals. on some some four years on later that. <laughs> no because maybe you know you what that's why your nails are so perfect probably. i keep thinking about them there we go we have the secret because prenatals does help your hair and nails and they have a gummy flavor now a chewy gummy yes so i <laughs> ran out and I went to the store, went to Walmart this week, and they had this gummy 
flavor type. And let me guess, you butt it. Because prenatals are so long and they're thick, that big fat pill that I really didn't like taking. But then I got used to taking it. But then I was excited when I went in the store and I saw the gummy flavor. If they're good and I liking them, because you just pop them in and you chew them. You see, I can't buy something like that. Sophia probably take it as a candy and stuff. Yeah, they should try to eat it too. But I had to tell her. I have a place where I keep my stuff anyways. Out of so she. My daughter about climbs. It. She forgot about. It. But I thought that was good. <laughs> that Women, is pretty nice. Even if you haven't had a child, you can take prenatals before, during, and, and after, after pregnancy. It's giving you all the necessary nutrition that we but don't the, get. But the but the only problem the with taking prenatals, though, if you're not trying to get pregnant you need to take a very higher risk of preventing that what getting pregnant you prenatals it prenatals. increases it increases your it does chance increase of getting pregnant? yes well because your hormones are at at its high peak i'm right? just good then well yeah because four years later no mistakes no mistakes well, over it's, here it's getting pregnant is not a mistake <laughs> let me correct myself for some yeah. benji cavalli I'm addicted to your love. You give me joy, you make me strong, you be my love. I'm addicted to your love. You give me joy, you make me strong, you be my love. For better or worse, let me in you. For richer or poor, let me in you. We can live together for real love One plus one, we equals one No love for love You are my angel Send down from heaven To look over me, to watch over me Now what do you go do to my body? Nothing could stop me from loving you I love you all, I want you all Hey, hey I'll sing your lele, sing your lele So much to me When I was there You're the one that lift me up Hey, Get you everything I need You give me joy You make me strong You be my love Hey, I'm addicted to you You are my lover The one forever Hey, hey, I'll sing you a Sing you a Welcome back to Girls Talk, your girl Mercy Love and Miss B in the building. And yes, we have we Benji. We have the artist Benji on the phone. Phone right now. Um, and he's calling to talk about his video that you just got done watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's called Addicted. Benji, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great, people. How are you guys doing, too? Oh, we're fabulous. I just want to know That's about great. the addiction that you got going on. So we want to know exactly what it is that you are so addicted to. <laughs> What, 
What is it that you are addicted to? The song is called Addicted. So what are, what are you addicted to? I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I like to say, you know, first of all, my music, you know, is based <laughs> on my my life. It's about my in and out, everyday life, you know. So I think about, you know, things that happen to me each and every day. So Addicted, you know, it was... It's pretty much that it's based on my personal relationship. You understand? And it could be, it could be, yeah, it could be even you. You know? Oh, so, it could be even me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, it just. I would say, okay, you know, so flirt's I, line I is open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very yeah. flattered. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. So your uh, motivation sure, comes sure. from your yeah. life. Um, so you wrote the song. Yes, I, I definitely wrote the song. You know, uh, you know, I, I I I do that. You know, you know, that's where I already started this whole music thing. You know, at the age of nine years old, you know, I started paying attention, you know, to music. You know, and I'm writing. You know, I'm a good writer. You know, you are that's a fabulous my, writer. I really yeah, love the skills. song. Yes. Um, yeah. The lyrics. You know. The lyrics hit home to me. And when I think of addiction, it doesn't just have to be love. Um, it could be food. I love meat chocolate. I, and I, I'm addicted to eating late at night, so it's probably great that we're having a health and fitness show today. Are you a foodie, Benji? Do you love food? I'm sorry, come again? Are you addicted to food as well? To food? To food, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. Yeah, anyway, I'm a I'm a great eater though. I, I, I can knock anything down, you know. Most especially in my culture. Oh wow. How <laughs> do you stay in shape I'll because stay, you know I'll you're sexy in that green. video? <laughs> again, come again? How do you stay in shape because you're very sexy in the video? You say how did I stay sexy? Yes. <laughs> oh wow, so okay. Flirt well, line. <laughs> <laughs> so you're taking me out, huh? Anyway. It's a music before, you know, video. We got to look at everything I you mean, can. it's a lot of competition out there, though. You know, a okay. lot of good artists, you know, putting good stuff out. So I would say uh, I just try to, you know, stay in shape because uh, you want to look good, you know, when you're stay doing your work. Shape. You want to have a quality work. That's true. You know, and that's how people around the world will pay attention to you. And exactly. as an artist, your appearance, you know, means a lot. It comes a lot. So I, I try to hit the gym once in a while. But, you hit the gym, you know, I'm that's good. I'm pretty lazy, though, in the gym, but I try my best. <laughs> All right, well, if you watch the show, we'll be able to give you some great tips for people who are very busy and can do a little 30, 15-minute workout. Um, thanks for calling in, Benji. We look forward to having you in on the show in the studio anytime you're in the Minnesota Twin Cities area. You have a nice weekend. Oh, okay. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for having me, you know. Hope oh, this is not the last time. And, uh, no, it's up you to you. Again. Whenever you're ready, you let us know. You're welcome on the show anytime. We'll talk right, to you later. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, guys. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. So I feel flattered. Of course you are. <laughs> Floodline 101. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing games at you there for a minute. I, I can be kind of old and rusty when it comes to these things. Old and rusty? Oh, you, how you keep your flat abs. <laughs> That's old and rusty. <laughs> was that old enough and rusty? I know, huh? <laughs> sometimes, OMG. I, sometimes I can be slow. I can't tell when people are actually flirting on me. So it, I guess that's what Girl, you were speed on that one. Oh. <laughs> We got Miss Beef opening up the flat line here today. We so our energy this morning, and we're very excited. We're going to be having our guest on the stage. She's going to yes. be blessing us with her presence. Yes, I'm waking up and right now. And then she's going to put us to work. I'm excited. So, you know, us being moms, career women, working, community, a whole lot of stuff going on. I want to know what I can do. Get up in the morning, get that workout in. That motivation. Get out the door and get yes. on my way. Yes. And what I can eat, too, in case I can't scramble the eggs and flip that pancake. What could I pop it really quick and be having that energy for the day? You know, one thing I've learned is wake up in the morning because I have my daughter with me every morning. I have to definitely make breakfast. So I refuse going to like fast food restaurants or sit in restaurants and get food anymore in the morning. I was like that, but my aunt came over, unfortunately. 
and this, my daughter has discovered the McDonald's breakfast platter, so she asks for that a lot. Wow. Yes, and I'm wow. like, ugh. And even when it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, Mommy, can we go to McDonald's? I want some pancakes. I'm like, say shit, they don't serve breakfast all day long. I mean, you can make them. I do. I make good pancakes. That's good. So, so basically, when she asked for that, now I have to do the whole pancakes, eggs, sausage thing, and I can't do that every day. Monday through Friday, you know, you know my schedule. Yeah, yeah, my life that's is true. Too busy. So maybe this is something that my daughter and I can both eat or drink. Whatever, no, whatever don't, don't have Seisha going on. Don't have Don't have Seisha suffering because of you, girl. Oh. <laughs> well, she, she's in great shape. She I, is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Don't have her suffer because you trying to get in your little. She's actually buff. <laughs> And she doesn't like for people to tell her It's so that. funny, though, when we have Seisha and Sophia standing together. I'm just like, these girls are thick. Can you imagine? Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little break, <laughs> and we'll be back. Um, our personal trainer is going to be Tick, here today. It's going to be here. Say, say, na, 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 ooh, yeah, na. Ache, Adebego, these days, stop talking. Some people talk too Adebego. much. Il parle trop. You talk too much. personal trainer Renny Early and she has her company Ren Fit. So I have a whole lot of ton of questions on how to get skinny and cute. Well, as long as I you know, don't grill me. She, like a cutie patootie? <laughs> she is. I just told her that. I'm like, girl, I just realized how cute and tiny you are sitting next to me. Thank you. It's just you're just cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So Renny, tell us where you're from. Well, first of all, I'd like to begin by saying thanks to your crew and thank you, Ms. B and Mercy, for having me on your, oh, we're happy your awesome, you. awesome set. You we should are, be saying thank you because I'm about to get everything hilarious. out of you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm behind the scene and just watch, hearing what the topics you're saying, you're talking about, and you two, you're, 
your chemistry works well. So <laughs> congratulations on your new gig. Oh, and thanks, thanks. For, having, for having me. Thanks. Where I'm from, originally I'm from West Africa, Liberia. All right. Yeah, and um, I grew up in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, 2000 and, no, excuse me, 99, I moved um, here to Minnesota. Since then, I've been here. So how did you come from Boston to Minneapolis? Like, what, what made you change your mind? I'm a daddy's girl. My father is here. I moved from, uh, after high school, I moved from Boston to, to be with my father. Shout out to the daddy's girl. And <laughs> the reason why I asked where you were from, because you have come from Liberia, from Boston to Twin Cities, and you're in fitness. And it seems like you live, eat, sleep, breathe, physical health, being physically fit. And I don't think Liberia is about being physically fit. We're well, about that pepper say. soup and <laughs> fufu and tabagi and... So how did so you make you that trend? Out of place? Like, I do not feel out of place. I think the Lord blesses us with our talent. Okay. We each, he planted a seed in us, and my seed is, is, is to, my service is to give people to, to teach people how to be fit, not just fit, but to, to yep. appreciate who they are, mind, body, and soul. Yeah. So, you know, whether it's in the Liberian community, community or the American community or Jamaican community or white community, I, um, I strongly don't believe it's a community thing. It's something that you're naturally born with. Okay. okay. Yeah, because like she was just saying, the pepper soup, the cassava leaf. Mm -hmm. And you name it, we killed the whole village just to have a meal. All that food, <laughs> and do you still eat some of that, or you, is that out of your diet completely? That is not, uh, girl. Let me, let me break it down. You that cannot is, kill that, though. You so cannot if you kill that, <laughs> I, you cannot kill that. But I must say, though, it's not something I eat on a regular base. Okay. Um, I love African food. I would eat that over a family member's house, but it isn't house. But it isn't something that I eat at home. Um, my my job is to look the part okay and african food which i love but is very high in sodium mm -hmm. and when we cook we cook sodium exactly. yeah we want to taste the salt the if salt, we don't taste the, the salt oil, that, i know it then isn't it has good no taste. that is true and then <laughs> like, what we what we do forget and then they add some more sodium on there <laughs> What we do forget in the African community is that that also is going to relate to our health. Exactly. And we don't think about that yeah. when we're eating. Exactly. So what, would you, what advice would you give health-wise on all the sodium and stuff? Oh, God. First of all, high sodium causes high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and um, it yep. really does. Um, high cholesterol, oil. Um, so I would really, um, you know, being an African myself and having an a African father, Liberian dad, he most recently, two years ago, last year, I should say, he suffered a heart, a heart attack. Wow. And um, growing up, when you tell people, Dad, you better watch what you eat. I'm going to go sometimes, you know. But when that finally hit home, you it's realize, different. oh, I need to do it. So my father now, things that he didn't do before, he's doing it now. Yeah. He's, he has eliminated African food totally. Wow. Okay. And then I do know that for, because work, I used to work in a cardiac ICU, so I did come across a lot of um, heart failure patients. And normally they do recommend the DASH diet. Would you also say that DASH diet is one of the reasons for Africans living, <laughs> if we can try it? <laughs> you know, I will be very honest with you. I don't know what a DASH diet is. Okay. Um, I, how... And I don't believe in occasionally dieting, just to diet to get to fit in that nice black dress. Yeah. It is not really an occasional diet. A DASH diet is a low sodium diet. We recommend for any cardiac patient for that mm -hmm. because then you get to, be, it's a lifestyle. My you live in. My mother in law in. is on that. She has a right. stage I think I know four what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, heart failure. So she's on that, and basically it's like no sodium. Yeah, right. It's, right. A, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. Basically, you and have to leave. They recommend the DASH. Seasoning. The dash mm -hmm. seasoning. Okay, I yes. that's what you're talking but about. But the thing is, even recently we took her to the hospital, um, and the doctor said even that they didn't even want her to use it. Stage anymore. four. Yeah. You've gone beyond yeah, the... So and, you know, as an African-American, she's from Mississippi. <laughs> that good old... So food. food. <laughs> she throws down. You know, it helps me because, you know, she can keep my baby fed because I can't cook. But we know it's like we have to tell her, Miss Ann, you know, you can't eat like that anymore. You can't, you know, eat that food. So I see it's something that has left the, the continent of Africa and just came over is that food, loving to eat. 
and we also our have culture. To, we, also, yeah. we also have to keep in mind when you're migrating from the from from Liberia here, mm -hmm. you're entering a different a different climate, a different a yeah. different a different um, society, a yeah. culture. Their food, what they eat, even how we prepare African food is it's different. different. Yes. You know, it is so it's different. It's very, very different. I don't think my mom, she, I heard she looks younger than me. You yeah, know? because the soil there, it's not uh, it's natural. GMOs. Mm -hmm. They're not dealing with chemicals. It's all natural. It's everything, all natural. everything, this agriculture. There's a lot of walking. The sun alone is making you to vitamin, lose some body, vitamin yeah, yeah. yeah, to sweat because sweat sweating some a of lot, that stuff up. Yeah, releases that sodium out of exactly, your body. Exactly. That alone helps in that um that hot, humid temperature. You know, that's something great that you mentioned too. It's it's the atmosphere, the environment there is different here too, and that's something we do suffer. Why we suffer for obesity here in America. And then also thinking about how we process food. Yeah thinking of the animals that are being killed every day for us. In Africa, you kill a brand new animal every day to <laughs> make a meal. Exactly. Here we're, like storing, <laughs> I know, huh? Here we're storing in the fridge, the fridge. Um, exactly. trying to process it over time. And eventually, you got to think about all the buildups that are being built in those meats oh, wow. that we're not thinking. And yeah. whereas back home, uh, okay, Fresh. we're killing the chicken. All right, let's kill the chicken today. We have them lined up just yeah. to eat. Yeah. So mentally you have to think about all these things that we're doing to our body and we're not thinking yeah. we're not so your family member has a heart attack you start telling him what to do actually I didn't tell him what to do I think um, I am proud I don't want to sound mean but I'm proud situation like those was was a life was a life changer mm -hmm. and he soon realized I have to exercise I have to eat right and he is eating low sodium food as well um, lots of lots of veg veggies, and um, he's ex exercising regularly. Um, he hasn't had an episode since then, and I pray to God for that. It's it's uh, it's good because then you get to realize, oh, I'm not living for me. Mm -hmm. I'm living for others. You have, I mean, I'm sure he looks at you and be like, okay, wait a minute, my daughter's still young because you're yeah. still young, mm -hmm. and he want to see beyond what he's seeing right now. Well, the good thing about my family now, which I'm proud of, all of them, Denise being one. Um, I know they made fun of me growing up because, like I said, fitness was in my blood at age 14, 13. Um, I was always active in school. Um, I was, I did cheerleading school, cheerleading. Did kind you just of like got the Vikings, perfect body Vikings for Vikings all of it. <laughs> um, you know, did Vikings and, um, you know, and just one an aerobic instructor and lifetime fitness. It's just a lifestyle. That, that's something that comes naturally. But I, when I remember growing up as a child, I would be, I would wake up every morning and hitting that ESPN button and working out on TV to the bodybuilders. It's a 14 year old. 14. A female at like that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really your passion. It is my and passion. It's, it's great a, when it's, you can make your passion a career. Mm -hmm. Girl, it looks like you were born innate <laughs> with that. You just wake up and let's run. <laughs> so I'm going to put you on the spot. What are your measurements? Wow, well, <laughs> I would say I'm extra small size. What, what do you say? The, uh, your waist? bust, bust waist, your waist. <laughs> oh, you'll be surprised. Uh, you know, I... You look like you got hips. I ain't going to lie. That I love. I really, I do. I, I you know... Fit. Fit though, because it wasn't the. I, I don't. I don't see all that little so extra we're, like we're mine. We're gonna see more of the whole package <laughs> when we get to doing our workout here. Right, right. Um, so we're gonna appreciate all it is that you've done for yourself, and Thank that you. we can help ourselves with as well. I'm really looking forward to more of that. So my thing here that I want to get out of here, get out of today, is, is is what can I do for this tummy? Isn't that every woman's problem? No matter how much Zuma I do. And I probably forgot all the things that you told me I should do. <laughs> <laughs> so we can all be on the same page. And, you know, I got one month. We're going on the boat. Yeah. For Memorial the weekend. KMOJ yeah, um, Memorial, weekend. Memorial Weekend. Yes, we're all going to be on the boat. Excited. And we're going to be doing that Hamptons-like oh, stuff. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, there's a store at the Mall of America called Nothing But Water. <laughs> Girl, if you don't see me till then, and then you see me up a tit looking all right. <laughs> I went over there. Nothing but water. <laughs> Nothing but water. So they have the perfect. More into that. <laughs> so what can we do for this? And what can we do for this? What, you, your bottoms? Yes. Um, I would demonstrate those exercises. That's a good question, actually. Yeah. Um, it's important, your diet. 
and as you mentioned earlier, you do you don't care how much how much of Zumba you do. Yeah. You can't get rid of this. Yeah. Um, it's harder, as you said early in your segment, it's harder as you get older, yeah. especially as a young mom or older mom. If you do not, um, wow, that's a really good question. <laughs> for your for your abs, let's just put it there. Um, your your diet is crucial. I don't I, I can't express this break. Oh. Um so when we come back, you'll tell us a little bit more about mm -hmm. what our diet used to be. And it's not about diet. I know we throw the word diet out there. Diet does not mean that, okay, for this term or period, you have to cu um, cut the food down. The medical term for how you eat every day is considered your, your diet. diet. Your doctor will ask you, what is your diet? And he's trying to ask you, what do you eat on a regular basis? And we'll get more into that when we come back. So check out this video. My people, now we don't know. Welcome to another special edition of We Don't Catch Em. You know how we they do it for this program. If you they suspect say your man or your woman, they play ball outside. This is the program to come. For today's edition, one special woman, fine girl, fine anyhow, they suspect say her man, they shop Ogbono outside. The one like a goosey soup, instead of him to choose a goosey or Ogbono, he they mix the two together. As a matter of fact, be like say this man, they mix three different kind of soup together. So now today, we go know, say, I will they cry, they see road. Come with me, make we go bust down. Ha ha! I go do, I go do it. Celebo bo on the beat. Yeah, me holiday. It's the spicy baby. Johnny need me for Lucentia. And I don't know what to do. I need to say I no do I'm Like the way Cynthia they do. Johnny give you chevele. Say you want my ring, nene. Who won't come to defend me? Johnny Mo, Johnny Mo. I'm looking for my Johnny. Yeah. Where is my Johnny? Johnny Mo. Do you know Johnny? Question. If I know see my Johnny, Johnny, sure. Ah, forget me. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for my Johnny. I'm looking for my honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling me this, you're telling me that. I say this is not for me. Johnny do me funny, Johnny do me funny. He's doing me this, he's doing me that, but I know go tell mommy. He go Canada, he go Tokyo. Yesterday he say he de Morocco. He dance the sicko, he sing a willow. Na lie, na lie, na be no kio. This one na go be, aya kata. Original go be. So today we want to ask you, this thing what you do, you think say good to break hearts of more than four women, can't give one belle, promise another one marriage. Wait, wait till you get to talk for this matter. Nothing, not, you know. But these women, they say... Welcome back to Girls Talk. Your girl Mercy Love is still in the building with Miss B. And yes, we have the beautiful personal trainer here today. And guess what? My question for you. Okay. I know Ms. B was talking about diet earlier. Yeah. 
And yes, we scare people off when we say diet. The word diet alone is scary for many people because they're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to drop everything that I love to eat away. Exactly. And no, that's not what the word diet is. Like she said, in the medical terms, it basically means what you, what you consistently eat on a regular on the pyramid, basis. The food exactly, pyramid. the food yeah. pyramid. So, Ms. B also talked about our tummy. Mm -hmm. I have an issue. Okay. I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with that, we have little extra leftovers. Muffin puff. Muffin the muffin puff. puff. I like how. So let me <laughs> let me let me just walk you guys through, talk you guys through this. How is your exercise regimen? What do you do on a regular basis? All I do is my Zumba. I go twice a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, and that's an hour. So basically, I'm getting two hours of workout. But I have three levels in my house, lots of stairs, and I feel that's my, a part of my workout too. Um, I get a lot of walking in when I park the car and go into the office. Well, let me answer the question. The reason I asked that question. She's trying to add every single Right. <laughs> let me answer that question. It sounds like you're doing more cardio okay. than you are trying to tune your body. That's true. Most women are afraid to lift weights. Most women are because they're afraid to get bulky. And that goes, again, with your diet. Um, if you are taking protein, high protein, like eating lots of fish, and it's also genetics, mm -hmm. um, you will get bulky. Um, um, if you're eating, it depends on your goal, but don't be afraid to lift weights. Okay. Um, you don't have to do 20 crunches to get the six pack. Okay. As long as you're incorporating weights in your workout and you're toning your body, everything, if you're lifting like a five pound, 20 pound weight, you, uh, remember, you're also working your you're working your abs. Every time you do a workout, make sure you hold your tummy in. Mm -hmm. Even when you're doing Zumba, hold your tummy in. You're working your abs. Okay. You want to work your abs at least three three to four days a week. Oh. Okay. It's uh. it's real interesting you say that because I used to be two or seven, mm -hmm. two hundred and seven pounds. Yes, two years ago I was that big, and well, well, you look fabulous. Thank wow. you. And knowing what you just said, it just confirmed to me because I, b when I got on my whole um, losing weight program, I hired a personal trainer over at LA Fitness. And you know what? One of his biggest things, because I've always went to the gym. I've always been a gym person. And even in high school, I lifted weight. And then I stopped because I thought and I was looking look so manly. Yeah, yeah. At some point, I thought I was gaining muscles. I thought I was looking too manly. And then he told me, he was like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with women lifting weight. There is absolutely nothing wrong because I do more cardio than I do with weightlifting. Mm -hmm. And he said that. He confirmed that. So thank you for mentioning that because not every woman goes in the gym and says, oh, let me lift weight. Because they think it's a guy thing to no. go and lift weight. No. I look at these arms. I think they're naturally toned. So I don't mess with them. Mm -hmm. I don't lift weights at all. I can do weights with my legs. I'll do the bench press. You know, I'll do the sit-ups. But I, I will, I'll be honest with you, like I said, let me let me. I feel my arms are masculine enough. You know, I don't that, need to tune them in that's, that, go, that goes back when you're a child, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you look at your curves like, I'm never going to get big. But keep in mind, like I said, it's okay for women to lift weights, but when, as you get older, mm -hmm. Your body falls. Mm -hmm. It does. So you want gravity to, takes place. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Um, so you, if you want to keep a tight toned body, I'll suggest you you, you lift weights. Okay. Whether your arms look tuned now, it could look tuned today, but tomorrow mm -hmm. isn't the same. That's true. You know. That is true. Um, so you want to maintain pretty much maintain what you have. You don't have to lift twenty pounds or or fifteen pounds to. So go go back into. You were being very specific, and I appreciate that information um, about how many times a week should you do abs again, work on your abs? Um, I'll say three to four, four days a week for every exercise you do. How um, many How many minutes would you say within those three to four days a week? Well, what do you mean minutes? Like, is it the length? What is it that really gives you the, the ultimate tuneness? Is it the length or is it the weight? When I say the length, is it how many times you work out per day, how many days a week you work out, or is it, if I'm lifting 20 pounds for five minutes for one week, is that going to be, once a week, is that going to do it? No. Okay. Okay. No. So I'm into quick results. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your honesty. Let her tell us the real way. Okay. And then we'll find some quick ways. Um, and again, for, with me, for, for a beginner, if you're just beginning and um, you want to start, start working out and you want to look tuned. Um, I'll say you lift weights um, 
And, and, and keep in mind, when you're lifting weights, you're also burning calories. That's also cardio. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. you, you burn have, faster. You burn really fast. There, there are certain levels of, of lift, weight lifting. There's circuit training. There is, I do circuit training a lot because um, I do cardio once once or twice a week, and the rest of my my training is lifting because okay. I, I I burn and I want to see I want to look tuned, and I don't want to lose weight I want to tune up, but with that said, um, you want to um, with if you want to look tuned you I I'll suggest you lift maybe uh, four to five days a week, okay. but you, it, it takes consistency. Consistency, you have to be disciplined. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's a lot, but you will see results. So we're starting out slow. You starting suggest? up slow, I'll suggest um, lift weight, weights. Um, I'll say maybe three to four days a week as well. Three okay. to four days. A week. And give yourself a day to, to recover. So I see uh, you're talking about lifting weights a lot. Um, what if somebody, you know, I'm 300 pounds and I'm just now about to get into the gym. Mm -hmm. Will you still say I should be lifting weights? Because I hear people say, oh, you know, you need to burn that fat first and then get into the lift weights. Or do you want to incorporate everything in right off, right off the bat? If you're a beginner, and as you said, with the weight, uh, with, uh, you, you, you weigh 300 pounds, that's a really low level. Low level, you're, you're, you're a beginner, you, you want to start slow. And when okay. I say start slow, I don't want you, you, you want to also challenge yourself. But mm -hmm. you also have to listen to your body because there, there are health risks. Mm -hmm. And make sure you get doctor consent that it's okay to work out. Okay. And gosh, 300 pounds, and, and that's, sorry to say, um, that's I, 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 that is beyond obesity. That's obesity. And obesity sometimes is genetics. And it's, some people don't have, they, they, they don't, um, they have no control over okay. it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just born with it. And that's why you see people going on a knife gastric, uh, uh, bypass surgery but um if you start that, to not to cut you off it's good that you said that some people don't have control because I'm not gonna lie I I've never said it to anybody but I sit sometime and I look at them and I say at what point don't you realize you need to stop eating right. you yeah, know so, and, um, I, and I can just imagine how they may feel mm -hmm. but I, I've never said it to anybody but I have seen people that are obese and I'm like at what point don't you realize you don't be eating that stuff. At but some point, they don't even realize that. that. Yeah, it's great that you said that, you know. Yeah, and you've got to have sympathy. Sometimes you got to have sympathy for those people. Exactly. It could be they want to, but because of di they're diabetic okay. or because of, of, of some sort of disease. Okay. So you never know what a person is going through. I mean, now if you see somebody that's, you know, they know they can lose weight and like they continue eating fufu and suba tapuki and like girl. No control, I'm, basically, no, control, no self I mean? control. But sometimes it's health reasons okay. that they are in that situation and they don't have any control over it. Okay, so we can never judge a person that is in, in that obese state because you don't know their situation. Okay. Does working out have anything to do with um, body mass? What is body mass? I'm always confused about that. What does body mass have to do with working out? <laughs> like, like when I say body mass, like, what is it? You're a petite person. You're probably like what five? I'm five feet. Five feet tall. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm five three. And what are you? I'm five six. Five six. Okay. Oh, so yeah. your height, weight, what is what is that perfect number? It, it, like, that, I'll probably let the professional so handle for you, this. So for your height, your age, the whatever, perfect weight. The is that what you're weight. saying? Yeah. Oh like, God. There is like I want to get that perfect weight. Okay. First of all, this is what I hear a lot. Okay. When I'm training someone, and even in my aerobics class, don't bring Halle Berry's picture to me and say uh. I want to look like Halle Berry, <laughs> or don't bring Beyonce's picture to me and say I want to oh, look. No. Make me. It's like you're going to your hairstylist, it's making me look like this. Okay. <laughs> well, I can, I'll do my best, but no. When it comes to your body, we each are different. We're very, very different. You can't compare your body to my body or her body. I may lose weight faster or I may lose weight slower, but you can never, you cannot compare yourself to anyone when it comes to your, 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 your living a healthy and fit lifestyle. And it is one thing I, I really challenge people to, to, to do is don't concentrate on your appearance. Yeah. Don't concentrate on your physical. You have to, to cleanse yourself inwards your soul first before you can see yourself as beautiful because right. you can lose all the weight that you want you still won't see you mm -hmm. still won't feel mm -hmm. comfortable that's and that's why sometimes people go into that um anorexia or they're not satisfied 
you know? Yeah. And it, I've never been in that situation, but you first got to cleanse your mind, body, and soul to see yourself fit and for others to see you fit. Okay, it's interesting you say that because I have been in that situation where when I was going through my radio iodine therapy for my thyroidectomy, I felt like I was pretty in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I was skinny, no extras, no nothing, just perfect. But how did I feel inside? I felt sick. Mm -hmm. So how can you have n not feel like you're, you're sick within you and then yet still look perfect? Where, isn't, it, isn't that more of a mental thing for me, I'm thinking? I think um, I'll put myself, I'll, I'll do me. Um, being in the fitness industry, there is, you see the person with that body like, damn, I want that body. Mm -hmm. But you know, you got to bring yourself down. As I said earlier, you cannot put your body in her body. I think for me, it's more spiritual mm -hmm. um, than comparing myself to others. How I look is for me and it's not for my, my guy, it's not for my, my it's, it's for me and, and, and the spiritual being. So when I say cleanse your mind, body, and soul, that's everything, Right. you know? You gotta stop looking at yourself from the appearance wanting to, to show your body in that perfect black dress, and there's nothing wrong with it, but you first gotta appreciate you. Because right. if the- it's, it's all about the self-love. You start by exactly. just loving who so you are, at what size. I see motivation being added to your uh, workload. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, though, a lot of, um, health fitness um, instructor, I'll call her now, <laughs> is that what they're focusing is, their focus is not on your outer look. A lot of you guys are not focusing on your outer look, whereas on the other side, we're like, oh God, she look great. Yeah. Whereas you mentally, you're like, uh-uh, let, let, let's not, that's not where we or, start with this whole deal. Right, our, yeah. job, our jobs at fit in, in, as the fitness instructors and trainers is to, to, to motivate you to be your best. Mm -hmm. Some may differ, but for me, I want you to be your best. I don't want you to be a, in, in the closet dieter, by that I mean, okay, I only diet for, for one day because this dress looks good, or, you know, I'm only gonna work out because I have a party. To. You know, I don't wanna train a person that, I, you know, I can't break. Meaning, okay. I want you to appreciate yourself. Appreciate, appreciate yourself. I um, love, I love how you say that. Yeah. I can't train I like, a person. I like you talking to do our workout, and she's gonna show us. We're gonna put some of this um, in motion. We'll be right back. I can bring myself to understand how it went bad. How could you make me cry? I, I, I. Every now and then is this sort that No, I don't think I said that I'm sorry, that's not right All I want is you right up my life Take your dreams and take your lies I've got my own, I'm ready to fly
in my busy day a quick workout. That's what I want. Oh, sure. A quick workout, <laughs> not a quick fix. Like mercy. Is this trying to make me look bad? Let's just get some work. <laughs> All right. We're okay. Gonna, we're gonna start off. I'll do the demo. We're gonna start it with um. We're gonna get some music going on here. Some, we need some music. We need some basima, basima. Basima by Toga Howard. So we're gonna do a little zumba. Okay. okay. All right. So when you're working out, when you're doing this, remember to keep your stomach in, see width apart, and just roll here. Shot. Oh my goodness. Move your hips. Five, four, three, two. Take it left, right. You can add your own flavor to this. Keep your stomach in at all times. Okay. Take it back. <laughs> Take it left. Your oh heart rate should be coming up by now. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 So what you can do for your abs when you're dancing, whenever you're on the dance floor, whatever move you're doing, woo, woo, woo. keep your what? stomach in, man, my thigh. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be complaining this much because I hear I'm in the gym, but I don't think my Zumba te teacher be working. <laughs> You're looking good. Wow. What you're gonna do, you're gonna rush, brush the floor. Brush the floor. Oh. Oh. oh, so we're supposed to go slow. Yeah. You're brushing okay. the floor and back. Okay. Okay, oh. faster. Okay. <laughs> you're wow. looking good. Five, four, four, what? Three, two. Oh Hold it right here. Move those hips. Wow. Five, four, three. Let's take it to your left. Oh. Then go. What? I don't think we came from five. For this. No, we did it. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Alright, let's work those low your lower body because you did see. Those this is the where butt. the butt. Yeah. We have the most problem. See with the part. Stomach in, any exercises you're doing, you're working your abs, okay? okay. So you don't really have to get on the floor and do crunches. Right. So you. feet width apart. So I want you guys to stay where you are. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna face this way, the camera shouldn't see my form. Okay. Go down. Good job. Okay. So you wanna sit back like you're sitting in a chair. Oh, okay. There we go, feet, your, your knees are 90 degrees. Back, uh, back, Woo. back. And I'm gonna join you. Woo! Woo. Jesus Lord! <laughs> so add a little advance there. Lift your left knee. What? And right. What? And left. Oh my goodness. And right. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Yes. Your I'm next really exercise. Oh. Another morning workout. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do jumping lunges. Okay. I'll demonstrate. So you wanna do. 10 of these. 10? Yep. Three times. So let's start. What? Just one, okay. two, three, four, hands up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, oh. we're done. It's not as bad as marching place. Everybody. I'm enjoying my marching yeah, place. Sure. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yeah. All right. Oh, take it right, left, left. Nah, I can't Woo. do that. Oh. Woo. Man, five, four, three. Hold it. Power. 
Woo! You can tell she got some African in her. <laughs> Take it back. What? Oh my goodness, you're adding stuff to it. That's an African. <laughs> Forward. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take it back. March in place. Nice job. Oh wow. Well, after we're done with the big workout, what are some more tuning stuff like this? Is this good for the butt? Of course, that's okay. good for the butt. You can do walking lunges, squats, butt lifts. How so you, you can bend your left knee. Okay. Slight bend to your knees. Okay. Uh huh. Hands on your on your hips. So basically, you're standing on one leg. You're standing on one leg. Uh huh. Stomach in. Uh huh. Oh, Lift. Wow. Flex those knees. Flex those toes. Okay. So you want to go with the music. Five. Oh, oh right, wow. Four. <laughs> three. Two, okay, I can't do that one. And one. And then oh. you always want to work the other leg. The other leg, okay. Right. Same posture. One, two, two three, can we four. Cheat? Can we tap the floor? Yes, you can. Okay. If, if you're not advanced, if you're not advanced, tap. Okay. And you want to hold it. Okay. <laughs> hold, really? hold, hold. You want to pulse it? Pause. Pulse it? Pause. pause. <laughs> Small squeezes. <laughs> I can tell I you guys did Nice job. <laughs> wow. OMG. That was a great workout. I'm so ready for nice that job. One. So when we come back, we're gonna do a little quick meal. Now that I'm hungry, we worked up <laughs> we kinda worked up an appetite. I promise to not go to my dad's house. Prepare this. something for us to drink. We'll be These right back with awesome. girls talk, everybody. <laughs> Girls talk, and we're still here with Miss Ren Fit. And oh my gosh, that was a workout! Look oh, at that no, it wasn't. You didn't even sweat. 
I, I, well, I try to just not do everything. Well, the energy <laughs> has just been great around here today. Um, we guess you did know, a good job. We want to tell you thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. But before you leave, you're going to just whip us up something really quick. Quick snack. And I'm looking forward to tasting this. Okay. Girl, I feel like you just cheated on me. A snack after that workout? I, de I deserve a she meal. She wants a whole full course meal. She wants that no chicken snack. and broccoli. She wants the kitchen. And, nah. the, and the rice that you were talking about. Oh. Do you eat white rice or what kind of rice do you eat? I, I used to eat white rice. Um, I, I'm i now on brown rice for that reason because um, white rice for me d uh, blows me up. Okay. I, I'm bloated. It, it gets me bloated. And when how I did you come to find that out? Um, I um, Gluten. I try uh, gluten free. Um, uh, food and okay. I, I realized that. Okay. Because not everybody. Are, even the restaurants are saying stuff is gluten free now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. not uh, everybody pay attention to little things like that. That's why mm -hmm. I tell like I, that's why I ask how you differentiate the two. Well, the reason I did that is because um, I okay I don't want to sound condescending or or into myself, but I like six pack, and if I'm not seeing the six pack. There's something wrong. So do I have a little bit of six pack? Yeah, you do, boo. You have you a do. pack, a pack. <laughs> I, like <Hater. laughs> I like to keep my belly flat and I don't, you know, so one of those things I eliminated is white rice. And for me, it really does blow, I, I feel bloated and it really blows me up when, when I eat white rice. I don't eat rice that much, but I still eat white rice. So mm -hmm. maybe I need to try the brown rice. I like jasmine rice. Oh, I, jasmine I, yeah, rice. That's, I love jasmine. Is that still considered yes. white rice? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, okay. they have, I mean, they have the brown rice. Jasmine. jasmine rice. Yep, oh, that's what I the eat. Rice. Yeah. So you have both. They have different textures though but yeah all right so let's get into this so we I, have here the protein we're gonna make for you today um quick meal it's always good after you work out to replenish what you've what you've uh uh, uh what what you've worked out um so why would i work out then <laughs> well the reason the reason why you want to eat after you work out immediately especially carry a little protein bar you don't want to overeat when you get home okay. oh that's the reason. that makes sense I yeah. don't do that. I leave Zumba and I go and order something from Applebee's. Yeah, you will over go home and I throw because you you feel hungry. Then you yes, defeat the purpose. Hungry. Okay, so I'll do the protein. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, you want to bring like banana with you? Eat it. Yes, I heard banana I will eat can that take stuff. you for hours. Mm -hmm. It does. That's good. Okay. All right, so I don't drink well almond milk. That stuff is good. It's good. This you tastes you really can get good. this from Trader Joe's for maybe a dollar forty nine. That's my spot. Okay. So we're gonna start with that. Maybe uh, for this, you wanna have like one fourth okay. of almond milk. Ooh. I'm hungry, cause that looks good. Just her pour that in there. Um, <laughs> I brought apple juice, of course, in this black container. Again, that will be about one fourth, maybe one cup apple of- Apple juice and almond milk, I've never up, thought up, about it. Apple, maybe a, a cup of this. Ooh, all right. I like my protein shake sweet because I, I want to. I, I want sweet in general. I know. <laughs> and to add a little more flavor, what add that? a little bit of strawberry. This is frozen strawberries. Okay. Okay. So you, as much as you want. I like four, for now. And then, for a little from, for carbs, I throw in a little Cheerios. How'd you come up with all these things in one? Like, how do I you know. decide what to put in there and how it's gonna taste? Try and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, girl. <laughs> um, See, knowing me, I want to throw in some bananas in yes, there. Yes, you can do that. I would want to throw in some yogurt in you there. You can do that. Does it have to be low-fat yogurt, regular nope. yogurt? No. fine. This okay. is your food. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'm and ready so to have some of that? that. One scoop. And what is that One exactly and a half? again? Although, this is the protein powder. Okay. You can get this at GNC. Doesn't matter what kind. I see. For me, it's whey, and this is um, it gives. This is a food uh, replacement. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a meal replacement for me. Okay. And so, how much are these, if you don't mind? This I pay. Uh, well, I like. A, I'm on a good budget, but this was like uh, maybe twenty twenty nine dollars. Pretty good because normally they're more expensive than that. Yeah, this is more expensive, but I get them on sale. Okay. okay. Like you watch for your shoes and that's why I was asking. You watch for your protein to be on sale. Oh wow! You watch for your you watch for your your shoes. You be watching for your protein. protein. Exactly. <laughs> wow. That's Normally cool. I um, add ice and peanut butter to this, but because I don't have it now, I, we have to do with what we got. Okay. Just blend this. 
It's good. I promise. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. I like the color. Why why pay another gym to make you protein See, when you can make it I have a lot of stuff I got to do the rest of the day when I leave here. Is that going to give me energy and fill me? Well, I don't know what level of food you're on. Okay. <laughs> With your eight meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we blended this. I'm going to give you each a little sample because I don't know how often you drink protein shakes. I do the shake, but I don't put the protein in there because I never know what to buy or how safe it is. or You know, I'm not good on this meal. additional stuff. Okay. So now I know. So I'm going to add Cheers. that. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for the workout. You're mm. welcome. Delicious. Oh, my goodness. That so, girls, I can taste the Cheerios in this. Try everything that you saw here today. We appreciate you guys as always. Let us know what you're enjoying about the show. What do you want to see? Some more in topics Hold that up. you want. <laughs> you're interested in seeing. Um, and to find out more about our fitness instructor, where can they go? Um, the website is coming up coming up pretty soon. Is um, so I'll. You can go on my Facebook page for now. Look me up, Ren R E N Fit F I T. On Facebook for now. That's where you can find me. You can friend me. And if you have any questions, please inbox me or rent fit on Facebook. Can you come every Saturday? <laughs> and always tune in to our Facebook page, Star Nation TV. Our website will be up, starnationtv.com. Um, Girls Talk with Mercy Love this and Miss B has its Facebook page as well. This Thank was you. awesome. Thanks for having me. Yep. And that's it. We'll see you guys next week. Same time, same channel as always. Girls Talk. Yay.